very interesting uh, related news uh, recently, obviously, uh, around your uh, ThinFab uh, product. So what's so important about this first order? Well, we, we, were, we were excited to announce the introduction of the uh, ThinFab last uh, S September, and this really culminated, uh, was the culmination of our uh, ongoing investment in R&D. With that, we announced a, a ThinFab that had a, a manufacturing capacity of 120 megawatts, very significantly had a manufacturing cost of just 50 euro cents per watt, which is, which is competitive in today's and tomorrow's uh, broader PV markets. So we're excited now to see the, that, that beginning to get, to get traction in the market. We're, uh, we have our, our first sale of a ThinFab. Um, be, because we sell it as a turnkey product, uh, we, Ehrlich and Solar, are able to guarantee the average module efficiency of 10%, um, as well as the overall line yield and throughput. Talked about uh, certain aspects uh, of the ThinFab line, but you know what's what's really unique about this? What's what's so different about this than other turnkey uh, technologies that are available on the market? Well, I think that part of it is just the track record. I mean, Ehrlich, Ehrlichan has uh, was the pioneer in introducing turnkey lines for thin film silicon. Just in the last since 2008, we've been able to. Uh, improved our lines substantially with a, a reducing the cost of ownership from a, from 1.2 euros a watt down to 50 euro cents uh, 50 euro cents per watt today. Um, the dramatic reduction. We've reduced the cost of materials in our module by about 50 percent over that time, um, and we're continuing to invest heavily in R&D. So, the, so I think customers that are investing today um, anticipate correctly that there uh, there'll be significant further opportunities for cost reduction going forward. Um, obviously, uh, people have uh, highlighted in the past that uh, amorphous based thin film uh, cell efficiencies uh, is potentially a weak point of the technology. However, what are we seeing with micromorph technology? What, where, is, where is the efficiencies going there? Sure, well, that's an ex excellent point. Yeah, I think we've, we've been successful in, uh, set, in setting micromorph, setting a new standard for thin film silicon. Our, uh, the 10% module efficiency for micromorph um, is really at the top of the class. Uh, we have an extended roadmap to take that to an average of 12% uh, uh, module efficiency. We've demonstrated 12% uh, cell efficiency. Uh, we announced that last year as well. Um, and so we're, we're, we're confident that the roadmap to higher efficiency will continue um, in addition, many, in many cases, what the, what the customers care about and an important advantage for uh, thin film silicon is that you know, the energy productivity is substantially higher. Right. We, we've, we've demonstrated um, at our own test facilities an, an average of 9% uh, more energy compared to comparably rated crystalline modules. Now there's, there's an element uh, in what you're saying there that uh, people are looking more and more at uh, the opportunities for low light, you know, uh, that market, people are, are claiming their modules are good with low light. There's also the development with, uh, in hotter climates, we're talking about the Middle East, yeah. where, again, uh, uh, thin film is, is perceived to have some kind of advantage. Is, you know, can you give us a, a, an update on, on that? Is, uh, what's going on there? Well, that's, that, that's certainly what we're seeing. I mean, we're, we're seeing actually a surprising amount and an encouraging amount of response uh, from some areas in the, in the world that are not today major PV markets. This includes North Africa, India, uh, uh, Latin America, and in, I think there's a growing recognition that as markets, as the overall PV markets transition to ones where the energy value, levelized cost of energy becomes the most important parameter, that the high energy productivity of uh, our micromorph technology, particularly in hot climates, um, is a strong uh, distinguishing advantage. Now obviously, um, uh, with the, uh, the turnkey business model has, uh, has proven, not obviously by yourselves, but with other companies involved in that to be uh, uh, a very volatile you know, uh, uh, business model, but you know, is the turnkey business model really working? Well, it, it, it works for, for many customers. I mean, I, I think what the turnkey business model allows is because we provide and control the entire uh, set of technologies uh, involved in the manufacturing process, it allows uh, a customer to buy a line with the parameters that they care most about, what the average, the average module power, 
the throughput of the line, those parameters can be guaranteed by the equipment supplier. Um, other customers are interested, you know, are uh, interested in purchasing individual pieces of equipment for us. We're happy to uh, meet those customers' needs as well. But in those cases, you know, we need to we can guarantee uh, equipment parameters like you know, layer thickness and so forth. But we um, aren't are not in a position to guarantee the, the overall performance of the line. Well, it's interesting, you, you know, uh, that you know, you're in control of everything, shall we say? But that puts, you know a lot of pressure on yourselves to produce the performance, in, you know, a roadmap that gives the performance, gives the lower cost, that's, that's very much your responsibility. Can, can, can that actually, you know, uh, people be confident that, that it can be improved beyond, you know, cell efficiency for argument can be approved beyond 10%? Well, it, it, it can be, and I think it can be done more efficiently and more rapidly uh, by with our, our model of having a common technology platform that's really commercialized across, we, we achieve, if you will, virtual economies of scale across what are, what are now 15 contracted customers. Um, you know, collectively, we've, we've contracted 870 megawatts of, co of capacity. That really gives us a, a substantial ability to accelerate the pace of the technology development compared to individual companies trying to do it on their own. Now, a, a final question for you. Uh, the company has obviously claimed in the past uh, with, the, with the thin fab concept of getting uh, the cost per watt down to about uh, 50 euro cents. I mean, is, is that realistic still? It's more than realistic. It's what, we're, it, it, it's what we offer uh, with, with our thin fab solution. That's based on fairly conservative assumptions about embedded material costs, line yields. It, it reflects the improvements that we've seen at our uh, real, real data that we've seen from our customers. You know, we had uh, customers uh, that are, a couple of years ago, we would have been guaranteeing line yields of 90%. In fact, our customers are achieving greater than 97% overall line yields. Um, so it, it, it reflects the, uh, it, it reflects real world data from our customers, um, as well as the real and documented improvements in the productivity of each of the tools in, in the line.